Did the Cold War kill the Beechcraft Plainsman hybrid car of 1946? Beach Aircraft Corporation was founded in Wichita, Kansas in 1932 by Walter Beach and his wife and secretary of the company, Olive Ann Beach. As World War II came to a close and with it a drop in demand for military aircraft, the airplane manufacturing Beach Aircraft Corporation decided to take a stab at the auto industry. Its first and only try was the 1946 Beechcraft Plainsman concept car. It was development of the 1946 Beechcraft Plainsman concept car began in late 1945. The Beechcraft Plainsman surfaced in 1946. The car was novel, all right, but Beech Aircraft Corporation had a more critical motive for eyeing the automobile business, purely survival. Like other aviation companies, in 1945 through 46, Beech faced life with no military contracts and dim prospects for civilian aviation sales. So accordingly, the uh, company spent $50,000 to devise a super modern passenger car. The Beechcraft Plainsman of 1946 stands out both as the one that came nearest to being produced. The Beechcraft Plainsman had four electric motors to power each wheel, a four-cylinder motor that ran a generator to power the electric motors. Six people could ride in the car, and many more advanced options were there. A real hybrid gasoline engine drivetrain and all-wheel drive. Beach engineers even figured out a way to display fuel mileage. The car averaged about 30 miles to the gallon. When the Cold War started, contracts started to come in to Beach Aircraft, and soon the Plainsman car was no more. No one knows, or seems to know, what happened to the car that was built. It may have been buried in history. The Beechcraft Plainsman, had it been built, would have just been ahead of its time. In some aspects, it would have been ahead of our time as well. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a nice day. Thank you.